Hello guys and welcome back to The Sims 4. We're doing another speed bell today. We are doing a container home. Uh, so eco lifestyle obviously involved here because that's what that pack was kind of built for. We're doing a container home though because I was late night scrolling on uh, YouTube shorts and I came across this video and like it was midnight so I didn't save it or like give myself any way of referencing back to it and of course it's midnight so I can't remember all of the details now but there was this tiny house that these people were walking through and it was so funny because I was it was I think a container home or it, it, it was supposed to at the very least it looked like be built in container home style but then we were, they were walking through and literally the kitchen when they panned to the kitchen I was like that is straight up three tiles wide in the sims like it was literally um, sink in the middle, fridge on one side, uh, oven on the other side, and I was like, I could build that in The Sims. And then it kind of, like, I sat with it for, like, a week or two, and I was like, that'd be really cool when I get done with the brownstones, but I needed a break from the brownstones. Anyway, we're only, like, a third of the way through those builds. Um, I needed a break on the brownstones. Anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna build this. And then it kind of turned into its own thing, because, like, obviously, some things weren't gonna work in The Sims. Um, and I started kind of playing with it and I wanted it to be more interesting than just like a container stacked on a container So I stuck one out to this side and I think it turned out really cool I will tell you um, kind of a, a fun fact question mark and unfun fact about this build that you might notice First of all, I've slowed the footage down again. Let me know what you think about that um, if it's too slow because For me like because I lived this it feels kind of slow. I'm like well, I, I lived this but I know for some people they were too fast to watch or they were causing issues or they just weren't fun. You couldn't see what I was doing. So I have slowed the footage down. Definitely let me know what you think. Um, but the other fun thing about this particular set of footage is that my keyboard quit like intermittently. Um, I think, unfortunately, I may have to figure out a different keyboard solution, um, which is not ideal because my keyboard is wireless and it is uh it's starting to do a thing where just sometimes it disconnects or it'll like intermittently connect so like i'll be holding shift and it'll be like shifting and then it won't like um and it got really bad and i think maybe something's blocking it like there's some sort because of, it's a it's a bluetooth and so I'm, I'm wondering if something on my desk is making it angry <laughs> um but so through a lot of this build you'll see me like struggling to place things and it's just um a friend of mine is a keyboard collector and she's been trying to pare down her collection for a while anyway she's like i have too many and she's moved like four times in a year so she's like mm, maybe the ones that i don't love like the ones that don't have like special meaning or whatever because like i gave her one that's like all in elvish and she's like i love that one um but she was like maybe the ones that i just got because they were cool and they don't like i don't use them as much or love them as much as some of the other ones she was like maybe i'll give them to friends and so i think she's gonna send me one um which is very sweet of her but then that means in like uh, videos when I'm using my keyboard, you're just going to hear clocking because it's going to be a very loud mechanical keyboard, which I'm fine with. Um, but anyways, I thought that was a really, like I was watching some of this footage back and I was like, I can really tell. I don't know if you all will be able to really tell, but I can really tell that I lost my keyboard shortcuts for a good portion of this. I really like the way this turned out though. I was having fun with it. The parts that aren't strictly containers, uh, like this, this outcropping here, I tried to make it look like it was built out of wood. Um, because I didn't want it to be super boring and boxy and I thought this was a cool way I wanted um, an office space and I didn't want it to feel crowded and as someone who has their office in their bedroom like it's not bad and because I live with other people it totally makes sense and my office is in my closet I've talked about this ad nauseum so I have a, a, a way to close the doors and be done with it when like I've had enough having said that um I don't often close the doors but having said that if I didn't live with people I do feel like I would probably really prioritize not having my office in my bedroom or at least having a way to close off my office more concretely. Um, like have like an actual, cause like, like I said, the closet closes, but like my chair can't be closed and the, the doors are glass, <laughs> which I don't know if I've ever mentioned. Um, so I think if I lived by myself, I would prioritize trying to find a nook or a cran, or like a place for my desk that wasn't next to my bed. Um, and so I was trying to do that in here and the, the outcropping to ended up being the way to do that. Here I started playing with the idea of duplexes and, or not duplexes, excuse me, um, like a secondary house on, um, on the lot. And because it's a lot of so long, I think we're going to do that. There's going to be like an unofficial part two where we do a second container house build because I actually have an idea for a different layout, um, like adding one more container and doing a different layout. Um, so I think we're going to do that, but it's not going to be part of this build. The, um, I played with that idea, like I said, and then I was like, nah. 
I'm not gonna do that. Um, especially because this this build started taking so much longer than I had planned. Um, and originally, like what I was thinking when I was still like you can see, I'm still kind of messing with the duplex. Uh, not duplex. My brain is really stuck on that word today. On the secondary house. Originally, I was thinking like I'll do like a specific color scheme, like an all blue house and then like an all red house or something. And I ended up. This is I think around the time where I was like, I think I've decided against that. Let me chew on that a little bit. Um, and eventually you'll just see the second house disappear. And then in another video down the line, you'll see the second house. Because I have already kind of started building it. Um, kind of when I needed like a minute. Oh, and here I was trying to add like a second outcropping. I thought it would be cool to have like a second, like this isn't container home. But um, I didn't like the way it looked on the front. And I put a lot of windows in the front, but not as many as around back and such. Because to me, there was still a lot of like, I wish I had gotten this window to work. Side note. Um, but there was a lot of... Um, like people could look in right and i'm a little squiggy about that even in the sims like this window jumping uh topics for a minute this window if this had swatches that matched what i was trying to do with the wood this window would have been amazing i want to reskin this window because this window would have looked so cool it looked so cool but it didn't have wood swatches that were helpful <sighs> so annoying um but jumping back into our conversation uh even in the sims i get a little bit squiggy about having a lot of windows facing towards the front if I'm not going to put curtains on them, which I did end up putting curtains on them, but I don't love the idea of people walking on the sidewalk and being able to look easily into your house. I get kind of squeaky about it. Um, like when I lived in town, I always lived on a dead end, so it wasn't too bad, but we lived kind of butted up behind a, uh, like a restaurant and a gas station, predominantly behind the gas station until the restaurant was built. The restaurant was built a little bit later, but, um, people had a really interesting habit of peeking over the fence when like we were playing outside and being like what you doing can my kids come play and it was always so weird even as a child i was always like you want your kid to play with a random child you found in a random backyard we could all be murderers we're not but we could all be murderers you don't know that it was such a weird thing but as i got older i got very very aware that on that lot there was always a chance someone was going to be watching and that especially on like the the first floor the ground floor there was always going to be like a chance that if your windows were open which i like to have my windows open i like the sunlight that people could see in just as much as you could see out kind of started weirding me out now that i live out in the country i've gone like full hermit my windows are always open but i'm like no one can see me no one lives within a mile of me <laughs> it's fine although we had people so my neighbor's field but it's right up against the side of the house i'm on and they had um some hired help out there this summer because they rotate because they um have a deal with a seed company and um so they rotate fields so that they don't wear the fields out you know and uh they so they were in the closest field to me this last year and it was so hard to get into the habit of like there are people out there amanda you can't just leave your window open all the time and in the summertime when your window's open in the morning like open open like just the screen they can hear you screeching when you're singing along to whatever's on the radio. It was such, like, a switch in mindset to think about. But I really like this window and putting the pots in the window. It stays that way, but I ended up, near the end, you'll see me put this house up on a foundation. Um, which I left, but I don't love, but I didn't love the way the landscaping was looking. It looked like it was kind of eating the house a little bit and that was not the vibe. So I was like, maybe it needs to be up on a foundation. And I was kind of thinking about it and I was like, well, if, if you were building a container, you would want it on a foundation. You wouldn't want to set the container just straight on the ground anyway. So the, the foundation ended up making sense but those pots ended up then not like fitting quite right and i didn't catch it until the screenshots before i upload it i'm gonna try to do the shelf trick um of some description like get those lined up better the other thing that i didn't notice still screenshots and i'm not gonna be able to log in and fix before this is um uploaded but i will fix before it goes up on the gallery is some of the what do you call the things that the curtains are on my brain is saying balustrade, and I know that's not right because that's on stairs. The, like, the, the, the pole thingy that the, uh, curtains are on, uh, a couple of those disappeared on me, so I gotta put those back. Um, just, just so you're aware, I am aware, and I will, I will fix those before it goes up in the gallery. Um, and then I was having the hardest time picking the couch because for a while I was really stuck on this, like, green and yellow theme, and I thought it was gonna be really, really cool. And I did kind of stick with greens because I wanted to do a bright kitchen because part of this build, 
that I was kind of on again, off again with was I was like, I want to use things that I don't usually use. Like the green kitchen, like this couch that I never use despite the fact that it's super cute. I just don't use it. Um, I think it actually might be a newer addition to my game too. Because I was looking at it and I was like, this is really cute. But also a lot of the swatches are not my style. So I was like, I don't know if this is new. I don't know where this couch is from. It's from APAC. Um, I was like, it's either new or I've been ignoring it. And that's wrong on both parts. But anyways, I was really stuck on this like green and yellow theme. And I did kind of carry it through the house. But I started going a little bit more with like, it's a cream theme. With green and yellow and like light wood accents and like white. I, I kind of expanded the palette as we went a little bit, but the initial goal was like, I wanted bright, happy greens and soft, creamy, buttery yellows. Um, and for the most part, I think you can see that influence throughout. And then I went with white walls just because it was simple. I thought about putting accent walls in. I ended up not, um, except obviously in the, the like office outcropping because that's just a roof. So, which I don't play with temperature settings enough. Like, I always just like, I'm like, oh, I forgot a thermostat, so I guess we're not doing that right now. Um, I never think about my Sims comfort, which is so bad. Um, I don't play, the initial point I was making is I don't play with temperature enough to know if having a roof like that will mess with like your thermostat. Unsure. So if it does, I apologize. But it is an actual platform. It is considered a, a room. I just don't, I don't know if it's considered enclosed. Your Sim might get cold in there. Um, in which case it may be worth it to, tr to do something else in there, like make it a different kind of um, shape or something. Which I think would look cool too if you just made it like a room stuck out. You could do that really cool. Or if you wanted like a full office, you could like pop it out a little bit, maybe put like a beam, make it look like super intentional. Could be kind of cool, make it look like it's popped out. Still put like a glass roof on top or something. Like, you know, you could, you could make it really cool. There's like a really cool way to do that. Giant bathroom, poorly laid out, but I could not see it could not see the vision on this one. Um, I need to play around with bathrooms more because I do like a very typical two by three bathroom in all of my builds and I tried to go a little bit bigger here and then it was just like, it was just a struggle. Um, and I ended up moving the toilet entirely because I wanted to use that mirror because um, I liked kind of the theming behind it, the kind of contemporary, if it, if it um, I thought it was pretty cool. Very simple bathroom though. And then I did try to clutter the cabinets. So in theory, your sim shouldn't cook or set a bunch of stuff in here, but let's be real on the sim, so they probably will. If you can hear squeaking on a non a non sim related note, my chair has decided it has a terrible squeak. Just sitting here, just emoting, it's squeaking. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, so this weekend I have to tear it apart and figure out what's squeaking because <laughs> it's bad. Like you could, I I was in a, a meeting today at work and they were like, um, is your dog upset? And I was like, no, my dog's asleep on my lap. And they were like, there's a whine. And I was like, no, it's a chair squeak. And I'm very wiggly and very emotive when I talk, but in general, I just, I never stop moving. I'm, I'm that really annoying person whose like leg is always going or, you know, who's always bouncing a knee or something. Um, and so my chair is just constantly squeaking, just constantly right now. So I gotta figure out what that's about. I think it just needs some WD-40 and probably something to be tightened. Um, Cause it also flops now. Um, which I'm doing intentionally so you can hear the squeak, but, um, it, it wobbles now too. So I'm like, something's loose. I just got to fix it. Um, but yeah, so that's what that noise is. Watson is fine for the record. Um, since somebody today thought it was, uh, thought it was my dog. Watson is fine. Watson is not here right now. Watson has decided to go sit in the front room, um, because there is pork chops cooking and you know, he's a dog and when there's meat cooking in the kitchen he needs to go be in the living room so because they're not they're not supposed to be in the kitchen that's the rule it's not that they're not entitled to parts of the house but when cooking is happening they're not supposed to be in the kitchen because i saw that episode of mythbusters so dog always stay out of my kitchen when i'm cooking um so he goes and sits like right on the edge of the living room like because the floor kind of splits there and he's like right on the edge of the living room it's like i'm not in your kitchen mom i'm just gonna stare at the pork chops from here I struggled so hard with a rug for here and I kind of hate the layout of this dining room because it's squished to one side but I was afraid it would block the door to the other side. Looking at it now I'm almost wondering if I could have like done like a square table on a wonk or like a round table on a wonk maybe. This is okay this is perfectly functional and I know a lot of places do dining rooms like that and if you were having friends over like if you were going to host a dinner party there is nothing saying that you couldn't pull this table out into the middle and have two extra chairs like pop some folding chairs in there or pretend you have some other chairs in storage. 
Um, there's nothing to say you couldn't turn it into a dining room or just pop the wall and make it one bigger too. I was trying to stay within the constraints of the, the shipping container. But I was thinking about this build too. And one of the things about the dining room that's kind of interesting to me is like if I lived here, like if this was my home, honestly, what I would probably do is I would put like a foldable bar top on the countertop over there on that side one and then have like a single um, like bar seat, right? Um, and that would be like my dining table because I don't like, I don't really host people. And when I do, uh, we eat at the, the, on the couch anyway. And like my, my family all here, all of my household, we just eat like where like I eat at my desk a lot or I eat in front of the TV and it's the same for all of them. It's just easier. We don't use the formal dining table. The fa formal dining table is the craft space. Let's be real here. Um, and so I was thinking about that and I was like, what I would do if this was my house is I would take that little nook space upstairs and I would make it a reading nook and I would put my desk down where the dining room is and then I would add like a giant set of desks. It would probably be like kind of ugly looking, but add like a bunch of desks. So I'd have like a craft space and my workspace and like a YouTube space. Like it would be that whole dining space would turn into a big office. That's what I would do personally. Um, cause that would take my office like completely out of my bedroom. It would give me a huge workspace and I don't need a dining room. I don't host formal things. Um, I think in the grand total, like when I lived by myself, well, I lived with like different roommates, but like when I was basically by myself, cause that was a weird situation. Uh, I think I ate on my bed 90% of the time and then living here now, like we all eat together, but in the living room. So like, I think I can count probably on one hand maybe six or seven fingers if I needed to jump to the second hand, um, the times we've eaten at the dining table. So this house has to be functional for the Sims. And I was imagining like you have a single Sim and then maybe eventually a married Sim, although they have to do the scooch. So you'd have to rejig the bedroom a little bit. Um, although how cute is this bedroom? Does it like when we get to the landscaping, I'll put a tree in front of that window and it straight up feels like a tree house. And I was like, I would dig this bedroom. I would dig this bedroom. This would be a great place to wake up. Um, it's got it's got treehouse vibes. I've been adding pillows to everything because I think it's super cool. I really want to reskin this pillow, not because the swatches they gave us aren't gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Uh, those are the kind of pillows where I would walk into like I don't even know where, like probably a Target. And those are kind of bougie for a Target, but like a Target, let's say. And I'd be like, oh no, I'm spending money right now on pillows, which I shouldn't do. I have too many pillows for the amount of space that I actually own. Anyways, um, I've been loving using those pillows and now I'm like, I really want to go into um, Sims 4 Studio and give myself like 30 more swatches. Because <laughs> um, I love, I love having a pillow. I want to do that with the little, um, there's a kid's pillow too that came with tiny campers kid campers micro campers what was that pack called there or kit there was a kit tiny campers mini camper something campers it came with a pillow too and i'd like to reskin that one because that one's mostly kid themed so it's kind of hard to use um but it'd be nice to have a couple of pillows i love i love that they're giving us that kind of stuff like the mugs yes please love the clutter we're getting um and like simultaneously, there's a part of me that's like, why would I put mugs? Because they won't use them. But then there's a part of me that's like, nah, but like, I'm looking at my desk right now. There are three mugs on my desk right now. Now, granted, I did use all of them today. I'm not gross. But, well, I mean, I'm not gross by my standards. I did use them all today, but they're all sitting here empty was the point I was making. Um, and like, I could mimic that right now in the sense. <laughs> They'll all get washed tonight. But yeah, if you walked into my room right now, there's three separate mugs. They all use for different things. And most of them simultaneously because I'm a multi-drink kind of person. I wasn't always. That's a new, um, it's a fairly new thing for me. Um, I never was a big drink person because for a long time I was just a coffee person. Like, to my detriment, I drank pretty much only coffee and Dr. Pepper been Dr. Pepper since I was a little kid and then as soon as I was like oh my I hit like 13 my dad was like you're not getting any taller do you want coffee and I was like yeah that sounds good and it turns out it was good um and then I, I took it to an extreme that was not good but now that I can't drink coffee I found myself drinking a lot more um like random things like I've started putting watermelon syrup in lemonade that is excessively sweet but so good in fact I have some of that on my on my desk right now it's very very good it's very tasty so I went exceedingly yellow with the office, but I don't think it looks bad because 90% of the time I feel like you're probably going to see that office through the hexes. So I thought like it was okay to go like 
with a lot of one color because there was already so much pattern in the room. Um, and I did go, I didn't go with like something super bright. I went with a, a buttery creamy yellow because it kind of, it's definitely colored. Like you walk in and you go, that is a colorful room, right? But you don't think like, oh, that's in your face necessarily. It's like, it's a good color. And then I realized like I can't put a lamp on the desk, which made me a little bit bummed, but it was fine. We put a, we put a, what do you call those standing lamps? Floor lamp. There we go. Goodness gracious. And a little plant in there. And then I did use that bug lamp, um, which might be somewhat controversial, but I thought it was kind of cute and I could see like if I lived here, because there's a couple of like paintings like that one right there, or I guess art pieces where I was like, that could have maybe been like thrifted or found, you know? And so I was like, the bug lamp, I could absolutely see being something like I, as like me, walking through a thrift store or something would be like, I need that. And everyone would be like, that makes no sense. And I'd be like, I know, but I need it. Um, I mean, literally sitting at my desk, I'm staring at a lamp made out of a gourd. It has dragonflies on it. It's really pretty. But I, that's the kind of thing, that <laughs> that's the kind of thing you'll find in my home. So I was like, the bug lamp in your office makes sense to me because it's like, it's a cute little personality thing. Um, and then we went ahead and did some very light gardening. Um, I kind of felt like if you're doing like a modular container home, like the whole idea of the home is like it can probably eventually be picked up and moved if necessary. You probably weren't doing a ton of gardening. Looking at this house now, this house really should have been um, like in, uh, what's the desert world? It just went out of my head. Oh my goodness. The desert world. I cannot remember the name of it right now. My brain's going, San Maishuno. That's not right. It's, uh, it's, uh, Willow Creek and, um, Oasis Springs. There we go. Good night, Martha. Where did that live in my head? This house would have been really good in Oasis Springs. Um, it's just in Newcrest because that's an easy place to build, but the landscaping kind of creeps around the front. That's why we ended up on a foundation, just a single high foundation, but it doesn't go, go too much farther. And that tree in the front, I cannot remember if I did it on camera or not. Um, I realized that was kind of a dumb place to put it because if I put a second house in the back, which I'm still kind of stuck on, and at this point I've kind of already decided to, um, then I needed a way to walk around the back, which in the screenshots you'll also see the mailbox is already set up for multiple people. It's a multiple person mailbox. It's made to look that way. Um, and then I just did really minimal outside stuff. There's a picnic table for them to hang out on, a little bit of gardening, because with the amount of plants inside, I figured she'd probably be a gardener, or he, or they. Um, and then I put a barbecue, just because I think barbecues are nice. They're just, they're really, um, I mean, your sim will obsess about them, which is annoying, but I, I just think that it's nice to have a non, like, in the kitchen way to cook. Um, and because your sims are obsessed with them, if you have house guests, it usually means they go outside. <laughs> Um, and it fit just really nicely under that little, um, kind of cantilevered space. I thought about putting a beam to hold it up because part of me thought, well, it kind of looks like it might fall. And then there was more of me that was like, nah, the beam looks dumb because it's not like an overcropping enough. Um, and then I just put little lights, struggled with the lights a little bit. Here you can see a little bit more of that, like, my keyboard and I aren't friends. Um, and then here I'm doing the, the garden. See, this is where you'll see what I was saying when I said it kind of looks like the garden, like, the garden was like almost too much for it, but I wanted something in the front. Like I wanted it to look like, um, the, the containers were sitting there with intention, but then I was like, well, maybe what it needs is here. So you can see, I'm like thinking about a foundation. I was like, I think maybe it needs a foundation. And that did help a ton make the house look like it was there with the intention coming up on the end of the build. Uh, final decision is put a foundation in, which is so opposite of real life, right? Um, and then I end up picking a really low profile foundation here in just a second, which I think I do on camera. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I still had done that on camera. Simple, uh, trash can and the, there's the mailbox and that's pretty much our build. Oh, I didn't even talk about the solar panels. You could add more to make it eco friendly. I just kind of thought if you're living in a container home, you probably have solar panels and you can do that kind of stuff without going fully off the grid because I think it still cuts down on your, your bills. It seems like. But anyways, guys, since we're doing screenshots, I think I'm going to go ahead and go. I've got a lot of these to get through before my pork chops are done. I'm so excited. And I think that's all there is to say about this house. And it wasn't, it's not, it's a very little house. It's very cute. Oh, the fish light. That's the other thing is I took the opportunity to use the fish light. I was pretty excited about it. But anyways, guys, I hope you're having a good day and you're feeling loved. And if you're not feeling loved, please know that I love you. I'm glad you exist. I'm glad you're hanging out. Make the world a better place just by being you. You make The Sims world a better place just by being you in the real world. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow.
Okay, bye.